good morning everyone today we are going to learn how to play video in android application right so in my previous session we have discuss about how to play audio within the android application right so similarly here also you can play video within the android application in very easy way right so for that in android we have video view component right and we have a media controller class with the use of this both component and class we can implement a video player in android application to play videos within the multiple playback options right such as play pause forward backward so you don't need to create all these particular playback options with this particular a uh, video view component and media controller class all things will be available to you now the media controller class in android will provide a playback option so it already have a playback option for video such as play pause backward and forward so if you want then you can import this particular media controller class from this particular library now the video view class in android will provide the functionality to fetch and play the videos using video player with the minimal setup in android application and you can similarly import a video view from this particular library now we have lots of predefined methods and with the use of these predefined methods you can customize your particular logic right so you can use any of these particular method and you can create a particular video player according to your requirement right so this is all about the particular media controller class and video view component now let's see how you can create the how you can play video with the use of this particular video view component so first of all you require video view component so for that here you need to take video view right and you can see this particular properties you need to set so it will create one video view for you right now here in android manifest file you just need to require this particular permission so internet so we are going to play a video from the internet from the provided link directly right so you require the internet okay so for that you require this kind of permissions okay now in main activity we are going to write the logic okay so here you can see that i'm going to play two videos so for that i took array list right so one video is this another video is this you can find these particular videos from the internet according to this link okay and i have one video view component okay now after that you need to find view by id with the video view because we want to play our video within this video view component and after that we are going to use the media controller class to customize our media so here you need to create the particular media controller class object like this right and you have to set the anchor view so here this particular anchor view means you can see a view that act as a an anchor for the control view right so you can see after that you have to set the media controller you have to set the url this is important right so video uri so what videos which link you want to uh, here you want to provide for the play so uri dot parse here we are passing this array list links so you can see over here that we are passing the array list so one by one that particular videos are going to uh, play right now you have to set the focus on that so you just request a focus now here we are going to uh, set the listener class for on prepared listener so once the particular thing is ready then you just need to 
change the size according to the your display size so for that we are going to pass the media player object width and height right and again you just set the media controller and set the anchor view okay then your video is going to play now on video completion so for that you have to set listener class for set on completioner listener okay so here after uh, one video we are going to put the message that video is over right and after that we are checking the size array list if there is a size if there is a video okay no video is there then you just release the particular media player object and print the message that videos are completed okay otherwise you just need to set the uri of the next video so one by one your video is going to play and on error you are just printing a one log message so by this is the error and what so you can play uh, you can set the particular uh, error message over here right that's it guys so if you provide this much logic then you are able to play uh, videos in your android application so let's execute this code so here my application is building and starting the avd and after that it will just start playing the video right so yes this is my video view component here double tap to view control so there is a one text box we have to in that it is there so here right now you can see when i click on this then it shows the particular uh, controls over here so this particular design we have not provided it is automatically with the help of media controller class now i want to play the video so i just click on the play okay and my video is going to start if i want to see the controller then i just click over here and i just set the controller you can see okay your video is over now we're going to play a second video once the video is completed now no video is there and it's just come out from this application right so likewise it is going to play a particular videos in the android application that's it